What's going on guys today? I'm going to do a quick review of this infrared thermometer. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about this thermometer, including one thing that I think that you should know before buying. So overall guys, so far, I like this a lot. Uh, as you can see, it goes down to negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 1130 Fahrenheit, negative 50 Celsius up to 610 Celsius. Uh, and it's super simple to use, right? Uh, basically, all you need to do is just point at something, click the button, and then just hold it down you see that little laser there and that is exactly where it is measuring the different uh, temperature of things right and the closer you get the more precise it's going to be the other thing that it lets you do and this is really to help with uh, being accurate and as concise as possible so this ems stands for emissivity which is not even easy to pronounce but what this does is it basically and it comes with a guide uh, that helps you understand but what you can do is you're basically telling it uh, what pr what the material is that you're actually measuring um, and when you give it that number and that information it's then going to adjust the temperature based on that so that, that's scientific it gets into the reflection of the laser off of things but the point is is that it allows you to get super super precise if you adjust that number to let it know what it is that you're that you're looking at or what you're where you're pointing the laser in most cases it's going to be uh at the nine five that you just saw there right so in most cases we want it to be at the nine five that we see there that's what we want it to be at right but it can be adjusted based on whatever uh, metal or whatever object it is that you're actually measuring the temperature of now it does come with these two batteries uh, and it's pretty simple how they work obviously you just open up the handle right you can do it with one hand here and we have two AAA batteries that you can replace if needed uh, but that is how that works and the batteries last for a while guys I haven't had to change this I mean I, I think I've had this for like two three months now I use it quite often uh, especially when I'm grilling and uh, yeah that's basically how it works and how you're able to change the batteries there now, in my opinion, guys, the only thing to really know about this, some people I saw complained that the uh, temperature reading wasn't accurate enough. Well, I would really want to look at those people and see if they adjusted the emissivity, right? Because that particular number, again, is so important to get an accurate reading. Now, if you're just doing grilling, things like that, this, this is probably going to be fine, right? Keeping it at 0.95 is fine. But it actually becomes really important the more, you know, extreme the temperatures get that you adjust this, which you can simply do just by pressing up or down here. Adjusting that number is crucial because it's going to give you accurate readings based on the metal or whatever it is that you're actually measuring. But yeah, guys, overall, if you're considering getting one of these and not really sure if it's worth money, I think it absolutely is. Love it and uh, hope that you enjoy it too.